Hi, uh, shot with Mick Miller here. Um, what we're going to do this evening is a duck flight on the reservoir. Um, unfortunately, the geese have, have 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 gone. Even though we let four skeins come in unshot, thinking they'd come back, um, they haven't come back. That just goes to show you this wildfowling business is never an exact science. But, uh, but anyway, maybe they'll come back later on when the stubbles are ploughed up. I'm not sure, but uh, but there's plenty of mallards. So, um, only two guns tonight, me and Jack, um, and obviously we've got our friend helping pick up with his, um, with his dog, so it sh should be a good evening. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a hide in the middle here this time, um, because what they tend to do is they come across the middles now as opposed to the corners. You can get some shit in the corners, but they've got quite wide for that, so I'm going to put a hide there, I'm going to put a couple of decoys couple of decoys out there as well and obviously I've got my trusty duck caller <laughs> so we use that as well try and get them around so let's give it a go what we are going to do as well we had a um, and uh, an incident with some still shot down here before where one of the guns was over the other side there and got um, stung by some still shot and ironically it wasn't targeted it wasn't actually shot towards them it must have ricocheted off the bird or off the water so I'm not sure it doesn't happen on my watch really I mean it, it just it just stung the gun it didn't do any harm but so what we're doing now as suggested um, by James safety glasses now um, you know like we do at uh, close shooting when we're instructing all sorts of things so I think uh, uh, safety in, in, in mind here and also what we are going to do because you've got the four corners here I think we had Quite a few discussions me jack and james about safety in mind and what we're going to do now is we're going to just shoot one side so you haven't got this this firing squad scenario so literally we'll just be shooting across as opposed to shooting other other guns the other side and we'll see how that goes i mean uh Unfortunately, there's only two, um, you know, two guns tonight, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we'll definitely shoot that middle there, and we'll see how it goes. But any subscribers that have had issues and ricochets with steel shot, uh, please let me know. It's interesting. Um, it doesn't happen on, happen on our shoots, really. But anyway, obviously it happened, and we'll have to address this situation. But uh, good. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get set up. They come in early doors, um, the duck, so we'll get set up and see how we get on. Three for three, Mr. Collins. Who's high yet? <laughs> Can't do it, Jack, it's too high. Shot. Oh.
Right, he's got one, Jack got one. <coughs> My one got away. Shot Jack. That was too long for me, that other shot, really. It's giving the dog a good workout, Jim. One coming around here now. Coming down, shoot again! <laughs> Duck Jack! Watch that bottom one Jim, that's coming down. That's coming down, that bottom one. Yeah, got it. That's down, Jim. That's down there, that duck. Oh, it is dead. That's pretty good. I thought that was a runner. Nice one. <laughs> 